And welcome to Lifestyle Live. You're looking live at our bar in the Lifestyle Live kitchen. We're joined by Chef Abel Garcia from Cardinal Spirits. Despite the shot you just saw, we're not doing tequila shots this morning, correct? Not on camera, no, not on camera. Oh, not on camera, that, and that is the key. You're going to make a couple of dishes today. Absolutely, absolutely. We're doing a blood orange salad today for our new menu, and also some Valencia drumsticks today. Sounds awesome. Randall, Amber, I'm in the kitchen this morning. Did I, did I hear commercial shots? Is that what I heard right? Is I like that? this guy. Oh, man, like all right, guys, guy. we've got an update on the whining pup that stole oh, your hearts Inga. and your ears last week. Little Inga is back in our studio will show you how our indie dog whisperer has already helped her get a little bit oh, better so about that news. i love to hear about this hey also randall mm -hmm. last week randy talked about clogged toilets yes he did that? and okay. we blamed him for it we blamed him yes mm -hmm. so today we are talking about clogged drains lance is here from ld smith plumbing to give us sort of the 411 on causes solutions and a big deal also randall to help us save a little bit of money yeah. You know I like. Yeah, of course. And April is also Parkinson's Awareness Month. We're speaking with people who are on the front lines of this fight. Uh, we're talking about survivors and people who are also yeah. the caregivers with this disease. Yeah, Big time interesting. Stuff. You can definitely be both and find yourself in that situation yeah. for sure. So. All right, you guys. Good morning. Happy good morning. Tuesday. We got you back from the bar so what? soon. Oh, oh, yeah. I was the management got in here and they said, George, get out. Get out of here. No, 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 go. no shots yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, so should we Tuesday. get to the question of the day? Let's do it. Let's uh, do it. What did you want to be when you grew up? And mm -hmm. more importantly, did you achieve that goal? Yes. Ah. Brought to you by Kitchen Saver Custom Cabinet and Renewal. Randall and George, what did you guys want to be as as youngsters? What did the young well, George want to be? I told the Daybreak audience that, and I think a lot of a lot of kids of my generation, we wanted to be astronauts. Yeah. I heard math, and I ran the other direction. <laughs> so, but, um, but here's now, but here I, I I may not have to give up on the dream because. I'm now a host on Lifestyle Live, so there I've achieved go. some celebrity status. Yeah, well, so okay. So it's only a matter of time before Jeff Bezos or, <laughs> or Elon Musk calls up and oh, wants yeah. to shoot my tail up into space, right? There Sounds you go. That's exactly what it is. Yeah. What about you, Randall? I wanted to be uh, the best running back in the NFL. I wanted to be just like Barry Sanders. Oh. That was my hero growing up. And then I have another hero, Stuart Scott. I wanted yeah. to be like him. Yeah. Uh, rest in peace. But yeah. uh, also... Uh, I want now. I feel like I want to be more like a Jamie Fox. I'm all, all, all these personalities wrapped up in one. So I'm, I'm probably going to land chains, some. Right? Yeah, I'm going to probably land somewhere in the middle. I guess. Well, I think that's the beauty of it all. A lot of you guys chiming in this morning on this very sad Facebook question. We kick things off with Vicky, who says, "I wanted to be a stewardess, or as they are now referred to, a flight attendant." Okay. There you go. All right. And then uh, Alicia says. Zoologist or veterinarian, far from either, but still love animals. I get that. Yeah. Some jobs. And then Nathan Lowe says, my earliest career aspiration was to be a garbage man. I was five years old and thought there would be nothing more fun than riding a truck and jumping off to dump garbage in the truck's big yawning mouth. Isn't that cute? I became a dog whisperer instead. You let your, you let your five-year-old self down, Nathan. I can't believe. That is adorable. I know. Did you, my, did you say what yours was? Well, mine changed years mm -hmm. growing up. It was first, as, you know, I wanted to go to Hollywood and be an actress, and then I wanted to be a nurse, and then I wanted to be a marine biologist, so it just kind of changed. But truth be told, I actually went to school starting out to be a psychologist. Oh. I got my, my first degree in hmm. psychology. That explains Funny how she, things change. She's been in our heads, George. Yes, I know. The whole time. <laughs> I knew Little we couldn't trust her. You know that I use this on you guys. Right, we're day. sitting on the sofa, just Little pouring our know. hearts out. Right. <laughs> <laughs> just solving it, emotions are all going to come out. Oh, man. Oh, oh gosh. I heard, I heard you guys are leaving me. Yeah, so. yeah that's, we're going to scoot on over to the George. Kitchen. George, you're going to take All right. Take, I'm, I, you head that way, George. I'll head this way. We're going to get some cardinal I just, spirits I just stay love here. from <laughs> Chef Abel Garcia. Hi, Chef Abel. Both sides, man. Both sides. How you doing? Doing well, doing it's well. So it's so good been, to see you. I know. I can't wait for this weather to turn. It's been I know. far too cool since St. Patrick's Day. Everybody is, for, right? Yeah, They're so absolutely. ready. Okay, well, I see some really cool oranges over here. Yes. Blood oranges is what you call mm -hmm. these. Yeah, we are so ready to get out of the winter that it is, we're done with all these browns and low yeah. tones. It's time yeah. for some color in this, yes. in this whole place. Yes. So today we're going to build our blood orange salad for you, which is just use all fresh ingredients. We have some baby frisee, baby arugula, our blood oranges, of course. We have Valencia oranges that come from Spain that we also use in our Valencia oh, drinks. Wow. So uh, this one's a great showing of what we do with our products. We have our Terra Gin that we use our botanical for into okay. this vinaigrette that we have here today. So let's just get to it and build it. And, th and this. Let's do it. You're making all new menu items that are. Absolutely. For yeah. this, uh, this coming Wednesday is our new menu. 
So all this uh, that we have our mixture here with our fennel, our baby frisee, some toasted quinoa that we have coming up, all of it is tossed in some of our mm -hmm. Terrigen Botanical, which I wish you could smell this because it has such a great effervescence to it.